He's standing across the ring from the VWE Extreme Champion, Razor Diesel. Championship at stake in this match, as it always is, with a 24-7 rule attached. There's the bell. This championship match now officially underway here on Friday Night Edge. It is the champion, Razor Diesel. It is the challenger, the gavel, Adun Snowpaw, face-to-face -face in the center of the ring. And there's a lock-up collar and elbow tie-up between the two. Well, you know, I was about to say, isn't he going to take his uh, shades off, but that's his black eye. That was the result of the attack by the Ascension this past Monday night inside the office of our chairman, Stuart Worf. Overhand wrist lock from the gavel right now. Torquing on the arm. And now just deliver that elbow smash right to the forehead, going right back to the wrist lock. Going right back to that wrist lock, Take, just torquing on that arm. And now Razor Diesel firing back. Adun takes the hammer lock. Two evenly matched competitors here in this championship match. Of course, the edge and experience goes to Adun Snowpaw, even if he was inactive for a, for a number of years. Yeah, that's why they're even now, Johnny, because all that rust weighed down on Adun. Big hip toss right there, countered me to a side headlock takeover from Adun. <clears throat> you need some athleticism to pull that off, that's for certain. The gavel in control of the match right now with the side headlock on Razor Diesel keeping hanging on to the head, hanging on to the neck of the extreme champion. Championship at stake here in this match tonight. And now back up to the feet, back up to their feet. It is Adun continuing to hold on to that side headlock. Razor's trying to get to the ropes. Still hanging on to that side headlock, squeezing the head and the neck of Razor Diesel. And now they're in the ropes. The referee Earl orders the break. Well, there's a whip across the ring. Here comes the dude off the ropes. And a clothesline right there, countered by an arm drag into, a t into an arm bar. Great move right there from a dude snowpaw, the gavel. Took him right over, over with an arm drag, then transitioned right into that arm bar. That's one way to avoid the clothesline. Now Razor Diesel trying to fight his way back up to the standing position. They do he he is successful, and they go right back into a lockup. And Razor was sticking a right hand right in the face of the gavel. I don't think he cared for that too much. He might have hit him in that eye that was already injured this past Monday night by the from the attack by the Ascension. And that would be a smart move. If you take your attention on that eye, it'll swell up. He can't see out of it, and that's his death perception, and a lot of, oh, you know, any of his way to fight back will drastically decrease. Forearm club right between the shoulder blades, shoulder blades of a dude snowpaw from the uh, extreme champion, Razor Diesel. Off the ropes comes Razor, and leg lariat right there flattens the gavel. Into a roll-up here from Razor, count of one, only a one before the gavel manages to get that shoulder up. This match is for the Extreme Championship here tonight. He may have taken a shot right to that already blackened eye. Like you said, if you've only got one eye to see out of you, that's going to make things so much more difficult for you. Because you can't judge how things are happening. You can't really see, can't really judge distance, no peripheral vision. Oh, well, look at that. Drop toll hold right there from the gavel. Puts puts Razor Diesel face first right into the mat. Oh, but he, his hand goes right to that eye again. He is still favoring that eye. That eye that was 
that was blackened Monday night in the attack in Stuart Wart's office, Stuart Wart's office, by the Ascension. He is having a real tough time with that eye over there. He is in the corner, doesn't realize that Razor Diesel's right behind him, and Razor strikes with a drop kick from behind, puts Ooh. the head of a dude snowpaw right into that top turnbuckle. Oh, uh, and that can only slow up that eye even more after getting smacked face first into that corner. Razor, Razor Diesel is preparing to charge in. At least that's what it appears like. A new snowpaw in a seated position in the opposite corner. No, he's just standing there waiting for him. Well, what that does is that gives that gives the gavel a, t a chance to re recuperate. Oh, here comes Razor. Look at this. And Razor strikes with a monkey flip, propelling Razor Diesel right into the turnbuckles. That's when Ian experience is coming in. Well, that's what happens when you give a guy too much time to recuperate. Now, if it had been somebody who had actually a decent amount of experience, they would have never let up on that eye. But Razor, he uh, doesn't have too much experience, even though he's the, the extreme champion. The gavel is still favoring that eye. He must have got really, really... Still got whacked in it because you can still see still trying to trying to find his way around the ring. He's not having an easy time of it, that's for certain. Razor Diesel favoring the lower back after that after that monkey flip right into the corner. Meanwhile, the action continues in this championship match. This is for the Extreme Championship. Look at that German suplex right there from the gavel into a pinning combination. Kind of one, two, only a two count before Razor's able to get the shoulder up. He may not be able to, be able to see out of that eye at all. And if that's the case, that's going to make it just so much more difficult for the gavel to compete in this match here tonight. If I was Razor, at this point I would go right off the ropes, come back and hit him right with the high knee right in that eye. That would take that would take a doing all this match. There'd be no way he could see right after that. Well, I can't really get a clean look at him, but it looks like that eye may be, if it's not completely closed, it may be well on its way. And there's a shot right there from a dune, and it it did not miss. This match is for the Extreme Championship. It's always on the line because it's 24-7 with that Extreme Championship. It could be inside this ring. It could be out in the parking lot. It could be at our sister federation. You you name it anywhere. Anything could happen when you're, when you're defending a championship with a 24-7 rule attached to it. Right now, the action is in the ring between the champion, Razor Diesel, and the challenger, the Cavill, Adun Snowpaw, right here tonight on Friday Night Edge. Don't forget, still main event to come, the undefeated Michael Carson going up against the undefeated Matt, Matt Azadar, the gunslinger, taking on the world heavyweight champion, the VWE champion, Michael Carson, the last Carson standing. That's our main event tonight. Right now, the action continues. Big scoop slam right there. And now you see Razor Diesel favor that back once again. That same that same spine, well, of course, it's the only spine he has, but he took that monkey flip into the corner just a little bit earlier in the match. And he's been favoring that lower back ever since. Now the gavel going to work on the leg of Razor Diesel. And look at this. We're about to see a sharpshooter submission maneuver right there from the gavel. Extra. The extreme champion is trapped in the center of the ring. There is he has got to fight his way to oh, oh oh look at this. Look who's at the top of the ramp. That is Bryce. That is Surrey. <laughs> Here come the Ascension once again. I don't not sure that well oh, now a dude realizes it. Because he's got the samurai right in his face.
Well, now the Samurai picks up Razor Diesel. What is Surrett going to do here? Well, undoubtedly, this match is going to end in a disqualification here. Folks, your winner of the match and still VWE Extreme Champion. He is Racer Diesel, but a moral victory because he just got tossed completely out of the ring by the Samurai Surik Surikonomori.